Today, we're gonna be doing a cheap versus expensive floating tiny home challenge. And whoever loses our first challenge gets to sleep in a tent on a inflatable that we're not sure if it floats or not. So right here on the cheap side, we have, well, not much. Basically the bare minimum, we've got a floating platform, we've got a tent and almost zero amodities inside. It looks like the pot a pan and a light. So the person that ends up in this is gonna have no blanket, no pillow, no food, and they're gonna have to fend for themselves. It is not gonna be fun. But hey, you're on a tiny home. You're just on a very cheap tiny home. Now on the other hand, you have this behemoth, the catch and cook cabin, which has recently been renovated to be one of the best on the water hotel cooking sleeping machines it's literally decked out with everything and i have personally stocked it with all types of snacks food energy drinks you name it it is in there you will be living the life of luxury if you end up getting to stay in the expensive side of the challenge now you're probably wondering who my opponent is and it's going to be my biggest challenge because if there's anybody who knows how to stay out and survive on the water it's this guy <laughs> I'm perfectly content with staying on either of these items. I've stayed on things much worse than this, and actually, to be completely honest, I have a houseboat of my own. That was the crack shack. Yeah, so either way, I think I'm gonna love this challenge regardless. Now we're also gonna add a little bonus. Each houseboat also gets a specialty vessel. The cheap side gets the jet ski. Now, I know what you're thinking. The jet ski is not cheap. You're absolutely right, but you get a lot of disadvantages. You have to catch your food off of this thing. You only can hold what lures you can fit in the little console in front of you. And this is not easy to fish off of. Most likely you're gonna scare all the fish and you can't go in the grass because it will clog the intake and you'll have to dive in and manually remove it. So a lot of disadvantages here. Now, the expensive side has all of the advantages and all the bells and whistles. You get a jet boat, which has sonar and live scope, so you can actually see the fish swimming through the water. You got all, you also, you also have all of these lights to be able to bow fish at night. This is a fish getting machine. Whereas this is just, it's just kind of like the old basic fun. So challenge number one and most, yeah. Let's do it again. <laughs> so challenge number one in the most important challenge is gonna determine who is gonna be in which houseboat, the cheap or the expensive. We're gonna be taking the bass boat to a big fish lake. We're not even gonna fish at the lake we're gonna be staying at tonight because the lake we're going to holds some absolute giants. So biggest fish gets to decide where they're gonna live. All right, I'm quite confident in my fishing capabilities, especially with you as my competitor, but that's okay. Okay, well, um, just... My bad, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Britton are getting hooked up, but we're gonna be throwing the exact same thing. We're dialed in on this lake already. It's kind of the reason why we changed to fish. And there's big, big fish possibilities here. So we're gonna be throwing the exact same bait, the exact same way, pretty much the exact same rod set. It just comes down to skill level at this point. People don't know, but you're low-key a fisherman. You just don't really put it on the internet that oh, much. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's, I'm, I fished for my high school bass fishing team. I was the only guy on my high school bass <laughs> Wait, fishing you team. you were solo, and, you were bro, a team of one? Dude, I was cold <laughs> as <laughs> bro, bro, you were a team of one Hell on the bass yeah, I was, team? dude. I was raw. Actually, yeah, no one knew. I would be in sports, and then I would just run to my fishing team after school, and no one had any idea. You were the I in team. Yeah. You know how people say there's no I in team? Yeah, you I were. was the I. This is gonna be fun. We've got a big fish potential here, and biggest fish gets massive advantage on picking where they want to stay: houseboats full of luxury or the little bitty floating tent, which is gonna be a struggle. We'll see. Come Shut on, up. Come on. Oh. Oh. Stay on, stay on, stay on, please. Dude, please. I thought I just had one too. Dude, I was getting nibbled and I was like, mm, I know what a nibble feels like. All right. Oh! 
Come on. It's not the best. It does not matter, Brandon. You gotta get her in for her to count. Come dude, on. that sucks. I, I'm gonna, I don't wanna live in a tent, dude. Most important day of my life. <laughs> I right don't wanna here. live in a tent. Come here. Dude, secured, bro. This may be one of the smaller fish I've caught in my <laughs> lifetime, but it might be the most important. You got 30 minutes from now to wait, catch wait. one. Wait, wait, after you wear, her, bro, calm oh, down. That's great. Right. After you wear, her, dude, give me some time here. Oh. Where are we rocking? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it. Okay, go for it. Nine pounds, four ounces. Okay, uh, just slightly off by uh, eight something pounds. I'm not good at mathematics. It's one pound, six ounces. All right, we broke the pound mark. All right, take your fish. All right. One pound, six ounces. Wait a second. Let Trav get some close-up B-roll. Jesus Christ. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start a timer right now on my phone. Mm -hmm. That sucks, dude. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Woo! boy. All I'm right. feeling so good timer. right now. I am bricked up. What do you mean by that? All right. 30-minute timer starts right now. We're down to two minutes and 55 seconds and I'm trying everything. Brinton's still tying on different baits. I got two minutes left. Like this is the ultimate Hail Mary right here. I was gonna pick up my worm and try, but if there's only two minutes left, I'm just gonna troll and see what happens. Now I'm getting a phone call. This is a mess. Hey buddy, what's up? There's two minutes left, that's it? Oh, all right. Well, I don't even need to fish anymore. His idea is obviously so stupid. Oh, this is great. The second that timer goes off, I'm jumping straight in the water. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I mean, I already got my win. One pound, six ounces. I've beaten that, Brandon. Two. I'm, 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 I'm trolling a rattle trap back there. I'm going to come back and get you because we're on a good grass line. All right, because I feel a little bad for showboating, I'll let you have the tent. Oh, wow. Yeah, you. there you go, no problem. Thanks, I thought that was gonna go a different way for a second. I was like, wow, what a nice guy, dude. Loser! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was it, that was the intro. Now, I know this is cheap versus expensive, and this is not cheap, but I still have to catch a fish for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna be using a jet ski, which is extremely inconvenient, while Brenton has- oh, I, have the, I have the entire boat. You have the full setup. You can fish, you can bow fish tonight, you can do whatever you want, and you don't even gotta catch and cook, because there's already food supplied on the houseboat. So what happens if you don't catch anything? You just, no, all right, we'll talk about that. Well, I also thought I was gonna catch a fish this morning, so I didn't think it was gonna be a problem. Don't bank right on now. eating, Brandon, because yeah. probably well, not gonna happen. It's a good thing I'm not hungry. As your personal chef. How the hell did he, oh. Yo! 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 <laughs> All right, so now we, uh, we don't have that. We don't have that luxury. <laughs> Unfortunately, this boat does not hey, have that. You might have won, but I got the faster rig. Where's that faster rig taking you? <laughs> Nowhere you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, no, no. Shoot, freak. Well, this is not optimal. My freaking jet ski just floated away. Let's see if I can get this. Hey, hey, my jet ski. They might not even stop and help me. They're just gonna leave me hanging, aren't they? Oh, sick, sick, no, no thanks, thanks. That's nice. Oh. Ooh. 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 I'm in the grass, I am in the grass, oh my God. <laughs> oh no, don't you come over here. Don't you come over here. I was coming to help. I will. I was. You didn't need to get in the water. Big cabin. You enjoy your big cabin. I'm gonna just. I'm. A, I'm fine. 
I was coming to help. All right, this is our first time stepping foot inside of the houseboat. I, I mean, I saw what Brandon was looking like over there. The second he got there, he actually lost his mode of transportation. So he had to get in the water. I mean, we're already docked up. We got a boat, we got a house on the water. I mean, this is, uh, so far, I'd say it's pretty luxury. There's a generator right there. So we got full power and AC. Let me walk back. Wow, all right. We're gonna go over all of the perks we have inside of this thing. I see Brandon, actually, he's all the way out over there. I don't really know what he's doing. Probably nothing important, but wow. All right, we've got a TV. We've got an air conditioning unit. Is this, is this working? What? <laughs> right, so it might not be working water. I, I, I really thought, What's the point of the sink? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, All right, so we've got a 4K Ultra HD security system <laughs> yeah. in case any pirates want to pull up and try and start some <laughs> But uh, we've got a bait wall so we can fish without an issue. I mean, we've got a whole selection. Dude, I'm rocking back and forth. I'm, I'm getting like mentally confused right now. I feel like I'm on land, but I'm not. Uh, what is down there? What's in really those things? Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, that's the good Oh goodness. yeah, baby! Oh wow. my goodness! Okay, so we've got a, uh, we've got food, we've got drinks. I mean, it's all cold too. All right, hey, we just have a sink. That's fine. I'm, we'll figure that out. <laughs> all right. So after a little bit of experimenting, if you just turn on switch number three, actually no experimenting. Brandon just told me it was that switch, but uh, and then you come over here. There's Wawa. Yeah, because I need to blow up that toilet behind the houseboat. Okay, here's the plan. Um, it's about to be dark, like in just a second. I'm sitting here, Brandon's fishing over there. I mean, this is the best time to throw top water. Like, just throw some top water and get some top water bass. I mean, I feel like it shouldn't be much of an issue, but I don't know how it's going for him. Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to today's episode of nothing is for dinner uh <laughs> we pulled up on the lily pads and uh i'm not gonna lie to you we freaking we're screwed <laughs> we have quite literally nothing and uh the sun is already set and uh it's actually pretty dark out this camera is actually doing a better job of making it light than it actually is but we got the old tent we got the ski and i'm not gonna lie this thing right here is is significantly losing air. It's it's actually pretty bad, and I'm I'm glad the tent is on the one that's that's actually inflated because I'm not too sure that anything on this is going to be safe. Let's see if we can get some fish, and then maybe maybe we can cook whatever we catch. Ooh. Hey, How you doing, man? You Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I could have been catching them, they but. Uh, they're good right over there. Seriously. I would just. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got anything yet? I'm starving. So I figured if I can't catch anything. Did you just backlash that? I did. <laughs> have you ever seen someone sad on a jet ski? Ever? I've seen someone hungry on a jet ski. Well. That's not how the saying goes, no. all right? So, I'll see you later. I honestly would have been okay with getting the jet ski instead of the boat. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. no it's to... Oh, my God, it's got bit in the f***ing eyeball. Oh. Dude, never seen. I've got to have the toy motor on full throttle because I, I, I just got to get away from these things. I can't slow down, Brandon. I'm sorry. Uh, it's 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 oh, I got the chills because there's so hey, many. Buddy. I lost four fish. Which way are you going? Go back to the go back to the camp. Go back to the camp. Forget this. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I gotta turn the fing motor. Jake, don't turn that fing motor on. I can't do this. How do I do that? How do I do that? Oh! Oh, oh this hurts. This hurts. No, 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 no. We've gotta get inside the houseboat before one of us contracts West Nile. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. Oh, no, duh. It is, it's like West Africa out there. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. We went to the Amazon and it wasn't even one tenth of that bad. 
as it was the second the sun just disappeared. It was like everything was fine. And within three seconds, it was not worth It got bit in the fucking eyeball. Man, that must suck for Brandon. Every time he opens and closes his tent, he's screwed. He's got to do a whole extermination. <laughs> all right, all right, we need to turn these lights off. So I'm sure they'll find a way in here. They always do. If you noticed, I had a cooler on my jet ski. It's full of ice, just in case I caught some fish, I could toss them in there. But I did happen to sneak something while we were on the boat fishing earlier. So, I happen to have this guy right here. <laughs> now it's ice freaking cold, it sounds so good, but all I want is a water right now, and this is a freaking energy drink, which would have been good, uh, I don't know, earlier today. However, it's nighttime, and I have to sleep on an empty stomach. I think the last thing I need is an energy drink, because it's gonna, it's gonna be a long night. Cheers to the old life of luxury here. I got to thinking, it's a little bit later and it's like after dinner time and I'm hungry. I know the boys are probably pretty hungry. I mean, they may have made sandwiches, but there's burgers, there's brats, there's all types of really good stuff in there. I really wish I could have caught a bass to catch a nice bassetizer, but I'm thinking about offering them a peace treaty. I'm stuck here by myself. Like it's just me and the mosquitoes. I'm thinking about going over and just simply offering to be their personal chef. Oh my god! Get off! Get off of my boat! Jesus, he scared, scared the crap out of me, bro. Oh, he has all the mosquitoes no, on No, no, no. Lock that thing. Oh, he's getting destroyed by mosquitoes. I'm not, no, he's not coming in. This is honestly like a complete turn of events. Hi. There's some bugs in here. <laughs> Why are you here? I have a proposition. We were just I... about to make food. <laughs> Perfect timing. Uh, so here's my proposition. I didn't get to eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you caught nothing? I don't. I, I got over there. I realized I don't even have a lighter for the stove. <coughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Oh so, uh, I was thinking, since it's a luxury experience you're having, you having a good time? Yeah, having a great time okay. up until, I don't know, 30 seconds or so ago. Well, I was thinking, what would be more luxurious than a personal chef? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Hey, I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> 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 All right, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. No. You guys hang out, you know, relax in bed, watch TV. Uh, what are you even watching? Um, our videos. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, dude. Yeah, we need that. We're letting the ads play all the way through. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. we, just, uh, we turned it down, low volume, because it's annoying, but... <laughs> Okay, when I laugh hard, I goose, dude. I don't know what it is. I, it's... Oh, 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 my God. I didn't mean to. It just happened, dude. Okay. Oh, my God. No, replay that. <laughs> you guys relax. Have a good time. You're speaking my language. There's actually a lot of bugs outside. Normally, it's not like that because the wind blows, and but it's just dead calm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I will go out there in the bug territory and... I'll whip up some burgers and brats. That wow. you have a deal. Deal? I, I'll take that deal. Okay. Out there I, in the uh... bug territory, yeah, I'll stay right in here. <laughs> the old girl smoking up, son. Shoosh. Look, we got all the fuel tanks <laughs> sitting over there on the side of the boat. Dude. As far as possible from the fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were all right there. I was like, uh, we should move those. But yeah. we're getting this baby hot. And then we've got our brats and our burgers. Are you a brat or a burger guy? I'm a burger guy, yeah. I'm not burger gonna lie, guy. but there's nothing wrong with taking a big sausage. As your personal chef, how do you like your burger cook, sir? Ooh, I'm gonna say raw. Okay. <laughs> Alright, coming right up. <laughs> Never mind, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the solid medium. Solid medium. Yeah. Ooh, they're looking good, boy. Alright boys. 
She's freaking ready. You uh, you don't have buns, but you do have Hawaiian rolls. Okay, yeah, I I kind of forgot. So we <laughs> we got some regular bread, and we've got these guys right there. Oh, dude, there's something extra special about Hawaiian rolls. You know what's weird? It's just Inception of Brenton. I got Brenton on the TV. I got Brenton here. It's just like it's getting a little out of hand. I'm not gonna lie to you. Dude, so all right, here's what I'm thinking. Because they're too small, you get like a, a squad of four. Okay. And then put oh. Uh, you got it? <sighs> Alright, All right, you ready Princess to eat love. <laughs> I'm ready. Alright. Alright, come here, big mama. Oh boy, okay. This is the oh ultimate bun, bro. I'm so distracted by the Amazon up here. Is this the Amazon? Yeah, What's that's, going the, on that's the Amazon. Wow, they're freaking way cooler than where we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one of the best burgers I've ever had. Actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished eating. Got that's great. Cool bellies. And while we were talking, Found out Brenton's never bow fished. Mm -mm. You see what I got in my hand? Yeah, so we just rigged up the boat with some homemade lights in another video. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. But tonight, we're gonna give the arrows an old send for some gar or tilapia. If we get tilapia, they're gonna be good to eat. I can finally make the boys some fish. Break in the catch and cook cabin. This is the best day of my life. Boom! Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we'll do this side uh, next. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Oh yeah, you'll be uh, you'll be able to see absolutely everything. <laughs> Holy I think we'll be able crap. to see some fish, bro. And you know what's cool? This is special because we literally set this up a couple days ago, and now Brenton gets like one heck of a bow fishing experience. It's not about shooting the fish. To me, it's about seeing the fish at night in a way you never could before. Oh my gosh! Follow up. Smoked him. him! Oh my gosh! Oh Smoked my gosh! Him. Oh oh oh! We've got our first gar here. She's got some big gnarly teeth on her. She's a nasty, stinky, slimy fish. So we're gonna put her in the bucket. We're gonna wait out this rain. Luckily we got back to the houseboat when it did because it would destroy our battery. So get out of here and uh, let's get dry. Big tilapia. Shot him. Shot him? I don't know. And I don't have my power fullest for some reason. <laughs> I got her. Oh, you got her. I do her. got her. I you do got, got her. her. We're going straight into the bushes. We're okay, Brenton. We're Brenton. To... Oh, Brenton. Brenton, are you still on the gas? Oh my got goodness, him? that is huge. Brenton, you got him. I got a giant. Oh my a god, giant. Brenton. Oh, I got a giant, dude. My I got a giant, gosh. Brenton. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh is right, you brother. You insta just sh like dome <laughs> shot. Oh my god. That brother? was two minutes and two weeks. Brother? Like, oh, tilapia full yeah. laser. <laughs> that was a gunshot. Yeah, it was. That was a big gunshot. Like a... Like an elephant rifle. Cannon. Yeah. From the 1700s or that, something. That's what the... Look at him. Big old tilapia here. Big girl, like a proper, a proper. So yeah. we're in the old bushes right now. This was a deep shot. This is a prize fish when you're bow fishing because this has a beautiful juicy fillets on both sides. And we're gonna be able to make good tilapia appetizers. Brinson, you ever had tilapia? No. Are you scarred by what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Brenton is cut out for bow fishing yet, dude. <laughs> you look like just shocked, bro. You okay? You good? She's gone. She's gone, but listen, it's just like any My other turn to shoot one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Hold on, they can't see that. Oh my god. They gosh. can't see that. Yes, oh my god. Yeah. yeah! Look at that, bro. Oh, I did it. What a freaking shot, dude. Wow. Right down the spine. I am not a beginner anymore. That's the I'm best way to shoot them, too. Definitely intermediate. You know what we call that? In the spear world, you what? call that like a stone shot. Like you stone, really? You stone. I stone cold Steve yeah. Hardy. What? All right, successfully won the luxury boat, made, made some good food, and shot my first fish with a bow. That's good for the houseboat. I'm gonna lay down on this triple layer Tempur-Pedic mattress, and hopefully the mosquitoes aren't that, oh yeah, oh wow, holy bright. Oh, I mean, this is, it's such, it's such a vibe. I mean, it is, cr oh my gosh, dude. I absolutely love this thing, okay. I'm gonna pass out now, and I will see you guys bright and early. Actually, no, we're sleeping in. But you'll see Brandon bright and early in the morning.
Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> I woke up this morning. Well, I woke up about a hundred times through the night, but I woke up this morning and it was just wide out. There was fog everywhere, which means the water's cool and the air is hot or the air is hot and or vice versa. But I'm pretty sure it's because the air is hot because it is not cold. I sweat all night last night. I think the worst part is all freaking night long. I heard brrrr, and that was the boys in the houseboat over there. And I could just hear their generator and I knew that they were super comfortable and nice AC, they had blankets, they had pillows. I literally used this as my pillow <laughs> last night. I filled up the backpack with air. I took all the stuff out of it. You can see all the cameras I took out of it <laughs> just to have my head on that. And it kind of worked. I mean, I'd say my neck is definitely sore, but it's, uh, I, I did think it was gonna be much worse. So I'm kind of grateful. And what a beautiful morning it is. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my gosh. It's light outside. Oh my gosh. Dude, we had AC conditioning all night long. That was awesome. Well, folks, we freaking made it back. The catch and cook cabin. I didn't really get to spend too much time on her, but I did get dinner thanks to this nice, nice man right I here. I know I came in clutch. On a side note though, because someone won't do it, I will. Um, the link in the description, you can cop the merch. Oh, oh right. I didn't even know <laughs> you knew it was a thing, but it is. Yo, yo, Brenton wears my merch more than I do. I, I, I literally just wear the hat and that's pretty much it. I do a terrible job of promoting it, but. Joggers on, it's 95 degrees outside. It's your joggers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, dude, what do you got to say? Did you have a good time? I mean, honest, honestly, I had a blast. Like, this was probably the coolest overnight challenge I've ever done. It's just, I mean, to be completely honest, this is absolutely luxury. For being on water, you feel like you're on your own floating island. You got everything you need, and then compared to what you were on, oh. I mean, I was just living oh. life. So, <laughs> well, thanks for no, coming out. It was I appreciate it, was it. Thank you for inviting me, bro. I cannot believe I lost in the fishing challenge, and it put me on a floating tent all night. Uh, your boy's neck is a little freaking tight after sleeping on the old camera bag, but that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Make sure to go to Fanatic's channel. It's gonna be linked in the description because he is actually doing a very cool floating water challenge on his channel next. So make sure you go check that out. If you wanna see more catch and cook cabin videos, then just hope for it. <laughs> all right, we'll catch you guys on the next video. I love you guys so much. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs>